All right, everybody, welcome back to whoopsies. Metal Gear Solid 5 Ground Zeroes, the introduction to the Phantom Pain. Last episode was an introduction to this game, kind of in the same way. You can check the controls on the pause screen. If yeah, I know how the controls work, don't worry. Rolling, you can move horizontally left or right. If you do that holding the dash button, you'll move faster. Whoopsies. So anyway, I have I have a pretty good amount of stuff to talk about um, in the time that we have today. I think the first thing I should cover is the price tag. Hopefully I remember all the things that I talk about and haven't talked about so I don't repeat myself or leave stuff out. What do you see? Press the call button to get So, oh shit. Off. Shut up. See, so yeah, when this game first came out back in March, I think it was, maybe April, I don't know. Press the action button. Yeah, I'm not going to be climbing that. When the game first came out back in April, as some of you probably know, it was um had a price tag of 30 bucks. And guess what? This game is not at all worth 30 bucks. It's really good, entertaining and awesome, and made well in almost every way. But guess what? Three to four hours of material is not worth $30. Heck, no, 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 no. Especially when the main part of it, like the main reason for this game existing, the Ground Zero mission, that's only one hour worth of content. In fact, I refused to buy this game for a little while. I would not sell myself to that ridiculous price tag, so I waited for it to go on sale, and I bought it at the price of 10 bucks. And frankly, if you're not a Metal Gear fan, which I was, but I still refused to pay the $30 price. To the old prison area. You can bring up the target's location on your iDroid. If you're not a Metal Gear fan, then this game is not worth any more than ten dollars, and that's actually the price I bought it at. Out of sight. I bought it at the beginning of the de uh, <clears throat> the beginning of December when it was on sale for ten bucks. Just mark you. So yes, ten dollar price tag. That's really what I would say this game is worth. But that's just my opinion. I'm sure plenty of people would say this game is worth the whole 30, or maybe more. And I respectfully uh, disagree. But that's alright. Anyway, let's just move on. That guy is down for the count. All we have left that is that guy for around. now. It'll help you stay out of sight, but watch you don't get hypothermia. So anyway, now let's move on. Now that we've covered the price tag and all that crap, let's move on to. My experience with the Metal Gear series, I'll try and spoil as little as possible. So my experience with the Metal Gear series is... Uh, I wouldn't say minimal, I wouldn't say minimal, and I wouldn't say it's uh, expansive or large or whatever. Um, I've played Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker. Yo, I had a PSP for a couple years. I kind of prefer the quiet approach to this game. In fact, if I get spotted, I kind of plan to just restart it. This is this is a stealth playthrough. One hour of stealth. How does that sound to you guys? That's the plan. So when it comes to me in the Metal Gear series, I had a PSP for a couple years, and uh, a game I bought was Peace Walker. I, oh shit. Can't see me, bitch. I got a hand-me-down from my uncle, PSP, and I didn't really have many games on it. 
I think I had like a, re a, a mixture of old games like Tetris on it and Pong. I had a remix, but I didn't have anything like awesome that I could play for the end of time. So one day I went out looking for a PSP game and I saw on the shelf at Target Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker. And I was like, oh hey, Metal Gear, I've heard that series is pretty awesome. And oh damn, awesome was an understatement. That game was amazing. I absolutely loved Peace Walker. It's one of my probably top 10 favorite games of all time. I just loved it a lot. That game was awesome. It was worth every penny of the 15 or 20 bucks I bought it for. I don't remember the price tag exactly. That guard's in the way. You'll either have to go around or deal with him. If you're going to eliminate him, use a gun. A gun, you say? Hmm. Whoops. Who uses a gun to eliminate someone, like, really? Who the heck does that? Alright, don't come over here. Just stay there. Alright, nothing's going on. So yeah, I've played Peace Walker, and from what I can tell, this game mostly... If you play that game, that's actually a pretty good starting point to the series, I would say. It doesn't connect with the other games very much, but it does connect pretty heavily to this one, like... If you hadn't played Peace Walker and you start this game, you're gonna be in the dark, because they talk a lot about the characters and the situations and Mother nice Base and all that stuff. Oh, no. So if you're gonna play this game, you definitely should have played Peace Walker. Or just read the uh, backstory that I showed you guys in the first video. That pretty much covered all of Peace Walker. A little bit of Snake Eater and some stuff that we hadn't seen in an actual game before. But yeah, Peace Walker was great, and it ties into this pretty much, uh, pretty heavily. Like, newcomers to the series who start with this game are going to be in the dark a little bit. Going to be a little confuzzled. But I'd say it's pretty worth it, you know, if you pay 10 bucks, that is. And not, like, 15 or 30. Alright, let's reload our weapon. I've also played the majority of Metal Gear uh, Snake Eater. I got that for my 3DS for Christmas, and I've played about, I'd say, 80% of it. I'm almost done, in other words. That, that game doesn't... Area. The targets are there. I mean, uh, Snake Eater ties Those in... tranquilizer rounds are only good for putting your target to sleep. They won't help you break anything. Oh, did I shoot the crate? My bad. Shoot the guy. Okay, I'm gonna hope I got him. I think I did. But Snake Eater ties in a little bit to this, to some extent. There are some references, but not like a ton. I don't know how Snake Eater ends, but I'm gonna assume that's how Snake gets his uh, eye taken out. I'm not positive of that, but I'm pretty sure. Good night, bitch. Alright, there's one more guy in here. I need to find him. Got to find him. There you are. Alright, I forget what his movement pattern is. I think he goes out there eventually. I'm gonna go find a crate to hide behind. Oh, crap. But, in terms of Snake Eater, I would say... A lot of people say that's the best in the series. I actually... Well, some people, I think. I think uh, Peace Walker is better than Snake Eater. Like, even if it were on the PS2 console, which it was back in the day. I'm playing it on the 3DS, and that game has some, like, frame rate issues, and uh, controls are, are a little off. But I'd say even so, I think Peace Walker was the better game. At least so far. Like, I'm near the end of it. It's not going to dramatically improve to, like, amazing heights by the end. At least I don't think so. Can I open the gate already? Come on, hoser. That's a Canadian slang term, by the way, hoser.
Come here, bitch. Alright, let's knock him out. <laughs> yeah, raise that hand. Good night. Here's our good friend Chico, who was pretty cool in Peace Walker. He's the cliched kid who wants to be treated like a man, but they executed it pretty well, so it's not quite cliche. Or it didn't feel like it was cliche. Huh? What's going on? What's going on? Doing the same chokehold. Well, that's another thing I should talk about. Like, why isn't David Hayter playing Snake anymore? I'll talk about that in a minute. Yeah, sit down. There's no hope. I got Chico. <clears throat> Not here. Are you sure? Pretty sure. Still able to walk. Hold on. Well, he's knocked out. That doesn't help the chances. Not gonna happen. Kind of fucked up there. You'll have to carry him out then. Okay, boss, change your plans. Paul Chico over to the rendezvous point. We'll get Posse's whereabouts out of him once he's calmed down. <laughs> Mission info has been updated. I've marked the RV on your map. Okay, now carry Chico there. Map uh. has been updated. So I found with this part, you should just like run over here and kind of just duck down along this wall. But do it before these guys, you know, get here. If you don't do it on time, then you might get spotted by them. But here, you're pretty good if you just do it like that. So according to Chico, good old Poss is dead. Great. You reach the RV. Put the target down for a minute. How's he doing? Chico, where is Poss? Is recorded. She's dead. It's already fucked up. Just him listening to the tape of her being Mission tortured has been updated. or killed. Also, I like that robotic female British voice. <laughs> it's kind of neat. Mission info has been updated. It's pretty neat. Also, the chopper takes forever to get here. Like, hurry the fuck up, man. I got places to be. Government's to topple. Come on, let's go. I guess Morpho is like government or military term for helicopter. I have no idea. Anyway, in the next video, I'll talk about, like, Skullface and Zoth and all that, and how I have no idea what they are, because I haven't played all the games in the series. But thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.